You guys wanted some more high octane CQB action, so here it is. We're at level 2 airsoft, that's pretty much a CQB kill house, and we're beginning with a very hard push. Pushing on three unaware enemies, taking them out in quick succession. The fourth guy engages my friend who pushed on the left, taking him out, but I managed to take him out in return. So we need to be careful now of our shadow. Our shadow is casting all sorts of shapes and it's going to alert enemies like this guy's shadow as he advances on me. We take him out very quickly and I end up in this situation quite a lot where I'm on the enemy's flank and to really break their back I need to make the most of it. I need to take as many of them out as possible and I usually run little loops back to the front line. So these guys are already dead but if they weren't it would have made for some very very nice back flanking action. Right. Now with all these guys dead I need to work out where to go next and I can see the head of a player over there. I soon realize it's a marshal though but it must mean there's some sort of action going on, on the other side of the site. So I need to be on my toes as I clear back through here. An enemy that was shot here before could easily return to this position to get his revenge. So I need to cross through this open segment very quickly while being alert to any noises or movements. And there we go, we've got two contacts that are peeking around the corner and we've got a third one there as well. Now I'm going to end up in a situation here where I could very easily be shot in the back by teammates. This happens quite a lot to me. So as we check all our angles, trying to cover our back from various directions, I need to alert my teammates that they're there and they can clearly see me now, they can see my armband, they're not going to shoot me. As I push around this corner, I engage this guy twice and then really strangely decides to knife me even though I see the rounds going straight into him and to benefit the doubt I checked my gun is working yep it's working fine but I was left a little bit confused with that situation so I thought I'll just walk back to my teammates and move in with them I've caused enough trouble back there so moving on to this next clip this is a few minutes later we're pushing up on the bomb objective now, the momentum's kind of got stuck. The guys who like to push in hard have got killed. So we need to get this momentum back. So starting momentum up with a grenade and suppressing the guys back into the cover. Now with this site, there's lots of different angles and there's a lot of lower angles. If you simply go prone, you can take people out through the legs. So we take out the guy who's doing a quick revive on his buddy. We take out the guy's legs through underneath. And now we're just trying to keep our eyes peeled for anyone that might be a useful target in here. You've got to keep your back clear. You don't want someone sneaking up on behind you and getting a knife kill on you. So we're dropping down, getting a little bit of a better angle. I test my range and accuracy on that pillar just to see if I can engage people at this distance. Two shots into that guy. Nothing really seems to happen. So I know he's going to pop out again. So it's just a matter of time of waiting. Another two shots into some guy's legs over there. He goes down and just really manipulating these lower angles that players don't tend to get to to take more and more of them out so I'm keeping my eye because he's going to emerge two more shots into him nothing's going to happen and there we go he takes it so as we step up here the bomb is on the left but of course Aaron's so obsessed with continuing to push forgets about it and there it is the bomb is the team have been pretty much wiped off here we need to hold this down Hold it down, Aaron. There we go. So we got to hold that. Converts the bomb to our team. Very cool having some sort of live objective like this in a game. And now, with the objective taken, I need to retrieve my grenades and push a little bit further on. So after the grenades have been retrieved, we're going to continue pushing. We need to extend the area from the objective a little bit further out so that we can actually protect it easier. If the bomb is captured by them, it's gonna be the end of the round very, very quickly. Now the issue is gonna arise again where friendlies might shoot at me. So I'm gonna make it very sort of direct that I'm on their team as I push towards the enemy positions and try to take them out as effectively as possible. A lot of these guys are simply just being caught off guard because they don't expect a player to be this close to their position. And as we wrap around the back here, we're gonna catch even more off guard. So here we go, we've got another guy here, creep up on him, give him a nice knife kill. We take out the second guy before nearly getting engaged by friendly fire again. Anyway, just a bit of quick CQB action. Of course, I'd love your feedback in the comment section below. I've took the hit markers off this time and the sound effects. If you want them back, let us know and I will see you next time.